Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is Tammy and Ron from Winky World Adventures, and we are here at this campground. Yeah, we really like this campground too. It's beautiful, right on the lake by Nashville. Yeah, and it's got a beach. Mm -hmm. yeah, a playground. It's beautiful. We'll, we'll put some pictures on here so you can kind of see what it looks like, and I will be doing a review later. Right. But the name of the campground is Seven Points. Lake and it's part of this chain, um, the J. Percy Hermitage, I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the uh, engineer, how many engineer corps um, mm -hmm. did this campground? They another, really did a good job. The other one, one we did, we were in really nice job doing it. Yes, it's so beautiful. So you can see it's a beautiful morning here. Yeah. Cold. <laughs> a little bit of wind. It was it's only off. 37 degrees when I got up this morning. Right. I had to turn the furnace on a little bit for the kitties. They weren't too happy about the cold. No. So, but it, you know, it's warming up now that the sun's out. Yep. But it was a little bit of a chilly night, right? Yeah, it was chilly. Anyway, so we really enjoyed this campground. And I'm going to put some pictures here just so you can see a little bit, a taste yeah. of what it's like. Right. And then yesterday, yesterday we got to go into Nashville for a while. You know, we didn't have a lot of time and we didn't want to spend a lot of money. You know, we're trying to live as minimalists now, but we were looking for some inexpensive free things to do. And we did find a few. Yep. The first thing we did was... We went to Farmer's Market. Yes. And check that out. And we were able to try some different kinds of foods Food. there. And we found one. We wanted to try yeah we found a few things they have little shops it's kind of cool the way to have it situated there's little stands little um, places you can try different kinds of foods ethnic foods and what have you there's a couple little shops where you can buy Tennessee items and then there's also a separate area where they sell fruits and vegetables and plants, plants and some other things arts and crafts things yeah. like that so it's very cool, and I'll put some pictures here so you can see what that's like, too. Right. I ordered an El Pastor one and then some of the Mexican corn and we had the Mexican Fanta orange pop with a moon pie from that other shop for dessert. <laughs> you like it? How do you like it so far? Mine's okay. I was hoping for more pineapple but... It's, it's pretty good. We got a singer back there. Okay, so we're gonna try this moon pie. Apparently they were originally from this area.
How is it? That's sweet. Sounds like a cake. I like cake sounds. And the middle is much more. Okay, so we got a vegetable samosa at the Indian place there. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Um, I feel bad, but I said, just give me one of them. It's two dollars. He said, nope, no, nope, don't take it. I said, no, no, I want you to take it. Yeah, he insisted he we take it, take so it for free. Take it for free. So that was and fine. he told us God bless yeah. and that he's a Christian. Yeah. And we said, so are we. Yeah. It was really sweet. Yeah, it was nice and warm. Yummy? Good. Pretty good. And then we didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. um, they had some kind of a Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, and mm -hmm. they had all types of crafts, a lot of beer, uh, food. Um, yeah. We just checked it out, and we didn't get anything. But we walked through. We walked around through it. It was kind of fun just to see the people. Yeah. <clears throat> there was a lot of them were dressed in They're costume dressed, yeah, for Oktoberfest. like German art bit. Yeah, and this was right on the mall of the Capitol. They have a kind of a mall, almost like you see in Washington, D.C., where um, right. it, it comes down, it's empty like a park. And yeah. so this was all full of of the Oktoberfest celebration. So right. it was fun. They had a lot of food trucks and yeah. lots of beer. <laughs> yeah, lots of beer. We didn't have any, but we But the same thing, they, just where they have that area, they had um, granite stone all the way mm -hmm. around. It tells each year what happened in Tennessee, in the state. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. We like didn't history, really, right? um, yep, the history. We didn't read everything, but yeah, it was interesting. And then they had a little carnival there. Right. It was just a really fun, it looked like a fun event. Right. Uh, but you, I think you had to buy like a wristband or something for the beer. And we're not sure. I'm not sure how that but, works. But we had fun. And then we went to a museum, which was right next, next door. To it, right. It was called the Tennessee State Museum, and it had a, a wonderful, wonderful history yeah. of kind of from way back in ancient times. With um, the uh, settlements were here, like yeah. the um, early settlements, um, the settle Indians, yeah, were in, came in, how they got started, mm -hmm. and then it went from there to today. Right, all the way through the different periods, they periods had several time. sections all um separate that you could go in you know as to what you're kind of looking for like civil war history during that time period yeah. um which we were really interested That's in right? right yeah but we hit we got to take part in, a, in kind of a mini tour it's um just kind of a sampler i think they called it so this woman took us around I, she was a, an employee of the museum and just gave us a taste of oh. different things that were in their artifacts and things and in tennessee and uh, right, specific to Tennessee. Tennessee. And I'll put a couple clips on here about that too. It is rather 
rather big. It fit 19 people. And what's really interesting about this canoe itself, it has a unique history on its own. We carbon dated it to being created around 1750, 1760. Just a few decades after that, it was found stuck in the Cumberland River and a farming family hauled it out and used it as a feeding trough for generations. <laughs> so right in front of us here, we have these uh, glass panel cases. These are the major battles that happened in Tennessee during the Civil, Civil War. Tennessee had the second most battles to happen during the Civil War after Virginia, but by a huge margin because Virginia had over 120 major battles and Tennessee had over 30 major battles. So there's a, there's a huge gap there, but it shows that Tennessee was a border state, so it had influence over um, the battle spot. So then we thought, well, you know, we had read that Broadway Street in Nashville is really kind of fun because they have all these little honky tonks and country western bars and things you can try out and hear bands. So we thought about driving down there and parking and trying out a couple of them and just, you know, maybe having an appetizer or something. But no literally, way. you could not even drive down there. You can't drive, but it's well, you just can, but it was so packed. It would take you packed. forever to get out of there. And they had all these party buses going yeah, through, uh, and it's Saturday night. It was Saturday, and yeah. it's why you've got it was that. Crazy I think busy. we should have went there like during the weekdays. Maybe mm -hmm. it won't be as bad, but <laughs> we didn't have a choice. No, you don't have a choice. So yeah. just forget about it. So. But yeah, I'll put a little video here just so you can see what it was like. I said, wow, this is worse than <laughs> New Orleans when we were there. <laughs> it was yeah. bad. And this was a Saturday afternoon, about 4.30. Yeah. It was not late at night. Turn on your mind again. See you again. last interest we did take yeah. a little drive and just drive by the Grand Old Opry yep. just so we could kind of see things yeah. but then we decided to come back and just have a quiet night here right. at the campground by the lake and watch the sunset again yeah. the sunsets here are so beautiful yeah. it, it was very quiet and we enjoyed a fire last night and made s'mores more, more s'mores yeah so that was fun yeah nice and peaceful yeah. quiet on the fire and we had a Stay good, warm. Night, good night's sleep yeah. So oh, now we are ready to head out again. Mm -hmm. We're heading down um, near Chattanooga. So we're going to camp there tonight and, and check out a different park. This time it's going to be a state park. So we will talk more about that mm -hmm. tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, anyway, it's Sunday. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Yeah. We kind of miss going to church, but we'll have to start up again when we get down yeah. to Florida. But uh, We'll find something. Yeah. We'll pick it up. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. Yeah, and God bless. Too.